Well, hello, church. It's a bright and beautiful start to the day. And here we are at the, uh, the day that Jesus gave his life for you and I. And as we reflect upon the cross and the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, I'm going to read one scripture and then I'm going to just kind of go to something different. Uh, not different. Uh, another passage of scripture is what I mean by that. The message of the cross is foolish to those who are headed for destruction. But we who are being saved know it is the very power of God. And we do. We know that because we've experienced the incredible relationship that we have with Jesus Christ as a direct result of that gift that he has given to us by giving his life. Now in Luke chapter 9, as Jesus is doing a teaching, he says, If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross daily, and follow me. If you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for my sake, you will save it. And what do you benefit if you gain the whole world, but you yourself are lost, destroyed? So as we consider the events of today, we understand that Jesus gave up everything for us. And he's challenging us to give up everything to him. Now, that doesn't mean that he's asking you to sell all your possessions and walk out in the desert. That's craziness that... Yeah, anyway, we know better. What he is saying is, is that our plans, our will, our desires, everything that we in our human element desire to try and fulfill in ourself, he says, needs to be surrendered and given to him. And we need to die to self. The die to self is that I want to fulfill the will of God in my life, my purpose for existing on this planet. The reason that... <laughs> I was given life and breath more than anything else. The will of God, His way and not my way. And at times, it's going to be a tough road. I mean, when He says, take up your cross and follow me, Jesus knew exactly what He was saying and knew that He was going to do that very thing. And the people of that day understood it because this was a, um, a form of punishment that the Romans used on a regular basis. There had been many people that walked through the streets carrying a cross. And Jesus is saying like, man, you got to be all in. It's his way. So church, as we reflect upon the incredible thing that God did for us in offering us a relationship with him, remember that he's also asking that we would give our life in return to him. Let's be his church.